Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Race, Human Race, All Human. Today is Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. Everyone should be treated equally on this planet known as Earth with dignity and respect. With Karen Bass, last year when I was intricately involved in this, we were looking at body cam uh, cameras uh, as a requirement. Now, exactly uh, where they are today with that, I don't know. I certainly hope uh, we can do so and we do it in the way uh, that we have penalties uh, for people who don't uh, use them. What we have in time and time again, something happens and someone says, well, this camera, uh, he has the camera, but it wasn't turned on. This should be a price uh, to pay when you don't turn on your camera like there ought to be a price to pay, but you can only show 20 seconds. If you got the, the, mm. the video out there, why not be transparent and show it all? Something is remiss if you don't do it. So one of the big conversations this week um, was around this question. Is America racist? I, I want to take a listen to the reaction to that question, the answer to that question from some folks, and then have you react to the other side. America is not a racist country. The question is, is there a lingering effect after a couple of centuries of racism and discrimination in this nation? The answer is absolutely. I don't think America is a racist country, but we also do have to speak truth about the history of racism in our country and its, and its existence today. I don't think America is racist, but I think the the overhang from all of the Jim Crow and before that slavery have, have had a cost and we have to deal with it. So, so Congressman, where do you stand on this question? You know, I don't know why that was even brought into this discussion. A racist country would not elect Barack Obama president or Kamala Harris vice president. That's not the issue. The issue is systemic racism. That is what is happening. And we know that to be the case. In fact, my uh, colleague, uh, Tim Scott, uh, gave a speech back in 2016 on the floor of the Senate, talking about having been stopped seven times uh, for no other reason than being black. That is systemic racism. And he says someone approached him on the uh, campus there of the Capitol saying, I recognize the pin you're wearing, but I don't recognize you. Show me your uh, identification. That is systemic stuff that we got to get out of the system. So to talk about the country being a racist country, no, we've gotten beyond that. But let's remember, we had 244 years of slavery. We had another 100 years of Jim Crow. Count the generations. 350 years. That's a long time. It was not until 1954 when we got a Supreme Court decision that started the dismantling uh, of this uh, process. So let's just admit that we got a problem. As you know, uh, I study history relentlessly, and I'm telling you, uh, each, each person there, I think about George Santiano when he said to us, if you fail to learn the lessons of history, you're bound to repeat them. People like to repeat the history they don't want to learn the lessons of history. And if you don't learn these it's lessons. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. No, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean to cut you off, Congressman, but 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 it's interesting the way that you say that we need to address these problems in this country, as the vice president said as well. But you have you have Mitch McConnell in Washington writing a letter essentially saying to the education secretary, essentially saying to the Biden administration that they should not be addressing systemic racism in response to um, the fact that they felt like there needs to be programmings, programs excuse me, in the education system addressing systemic racism. He also wants to do away with the New York Times Magazine's 1619 project. I wanna read for you a part of his letter where he said, families did not ask for this divisive nonsense. Voters did not vote for it. Americans never decided our children should be taught that our country is inherently um, evil when in fact, this is not doing that. It's teaching children about the history of this country. That's exactly what it's doing. And Mitch McConnell ought to be ashamed of himself. 1619 
That's just the title based upon when blacks were first introduced uh, in this country. And he knows uh, uh, my predecessors came here uh, because uh, against their will, they came here and were enslaved. And that lasts for 244 years. Everybody needs to be taught that. He should be taught that. And we all would be working to overcome that. That is what we've been trying to do. Supreme Court uh, decisions time and time again keep saying, one of them especially, in order to get beyond race, you must first take race into account. Which means that if you're going to solve the race problem, you've got to admit that there is a problem. Identify the problem. And let's work to overcome it. Not avoid it, pretend it didn't happen. Uh, that's benign neglect. And that's what we did to the Native Americans. But we are not going to allow that to happen to the African American. We have learned that lesson of history, Mr. McConnell, and we're not going to repeat it. Congressman Jim Clyburn, thank you. Uh, great conversation. Appreciate you joining us on this Sunday, as always. Uh, still ahead, everybody, Senator Mitt Romney booed at Utah's GOP convention for commenting on the character of our former president. A larger look at the Trump effect in the splintering Republican Party. Plus, what it means to reopen, we're going to speak with New York famed restaurateur Marcus Samuelson on what he expects in this next phase and his. Hi, Bern, thank you. Uh, great conversation. Appreciate it. It's so important that we teach love, agape love, which means respect for all people everywhere concern for all people everywhere is important that we teach there's one race human race we're all one we're human beings and that color has been used to oppress people america was built by people of color free labor that's a fact slavery equals free free labor you work night and day, day and night, we don't pay you a thing. You do that for 400 years, boom. You do that for 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. Okay? And you become what? Rich. Our case, what's in 1619, huh? And then you have the, the poor um, immigrants coming in in the 1920s. Italians, Irish people, other people who were mistreated also. They are still white. And they were able to climb up that uh, sh social ladder because of their skin color, but they're still mistreated. It's wrong to mistreat anyone, period. Everyone, African American, Latino, Asian, Native American, European Americans, white Americans, everyone has a right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness on this planet known as Earth. Love, concern, compassion. Treating everyone with dignity and respect equally is the answer. Thank you for being on my YouTube channel. One race, human race, all human.